back here in the district where motorcycle safety was the focus today. An event was held in recognition of May being Motorcycle Safety Awareness Month, where riders got to meet with local dealers and organizations. Jessica Clement has the story. Bikers and non-motorcyclists were brought together on Saturday for an event highlighting motorcycling in the region. The inaugural May Day in the Bay event, hosted by the Northwestern Ontario Motorcycle Safety Training Organization, saw attendees from Thunder Bay and the surrounding area learn more about motorcycle safety. Uh, motorcyclists are vulnerable uh, road users, and uh, we just want people to be aware that they are out there on the road. Uh, also, motorcyclists need to remember that they're small and they're vulnerable, so they need to be watching out for everyone. You essentially need to drive like you're invisible, and we want all road users, whether they're pedestrians, cyclists, driving a car, an 18-wheeler, whatever the case is, to watch for motorcycles. Organizer Greg Stein says the event was hosted to celebrate Motorcycle Safety Awareness Month and features a little bit of everything. Attendees were able to meet with a number of local dealerships, riding clubs, and several racing disciplines. A lot of people that are into motorcycles are also into all forms of motorsport, so we wanted to get a stock car here as well. We've got a couple of food vendors and uh, swap meet, so just a little bit of everything as far as motorcycles go. We have one rider that's uh, here from uh, new to Canada for a while now. He's from India, and he's going to do some riding demonstrations. Paul Pepe, manager of Tourism Thunder Bay, was also at the event promoting Ride Lake Superior, a motorcycle tour through Ontario, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. He says motorcycle tourism is worth about $25 million a year to Northern Ontario's economy. Each year, Thunder Bay welcomes thousands of motorcycle riders from around the world who are, you know, touring uh, Lake Superior, which is, you know, the world's largest freshwater lake, or they're going across Canada. You know, being, uh, you know, a partner in the Ride Lake Superior program like we are, um, you know, it's important for us to use events like this to kind of network with the local suppliers and, uh, and dealers to, you know, uh, you know, just share best practices and share information with each other because as the motorcycle tourism season begins, you know, a lot of these riders are coming through and they're looking for parts, they need tires, they need oil changes or, or accessories. So, you know, it's a great opportunity for us to be here and network with our local, uh, you know, partners in the Ride Lake Superior program and, you know, help support the growth of great events like this. Stein says he hopes to make May Day in the Bay an annual event to bring more awareness to motorcycling in the region. Jessica Clement, TBT News.